This video is all about boiler stoves. Now we've got a couple of uh, aspects, park rate aspect stoves here with us. Uh, this is the standard aspect 14 and this is the beast itself, the boiler version. Uh, and um, obviously the standard version is designed to heat a room, a big room at that. Um, but this is about the boiler version, which is a really exciting concept. Uh, if you've not encountered boiler stoves before, the whole idea is that it will take a proportion of the heat and send it to your hot water or your radiators. Uh, and this is, this is really a British idea. There are lots of other countries doing it, but Britain is the ones that probably did it first and certainly the best known for it. Uh, and Park Grey is a proper British make. Um, and I'm so excited that they've brought out a eco, uh, an eco-designed boiler stove because it's an amazing thing that has transformed the lives for thousands of people across Britain. And maybe it's relevant to you. Um, so the whole idea is that you run from a open vented gravity fed system. Now that's a strange concept for a lot of us but the whole idea is that you have a um, you have a header tank and a cylinder and ordinarily you run uh, you might use just two tappings which would be sort of diagonally across the boiler so you could block these two and use these two or you could use all four but basically a simple system is you block two of them yeah, these are the tappings where water is running around in a big loop. And so you have the flow that goes up towards the top of your um, header tank, down through that, down through your cylinder, through a little coil. And that heats up a body of water, which you might use in a shower or a bath or just in your washing up. Uh, and then ordinarily, this is all run around by gravity or convection. So it's not pumped going round. This is just naturally happening through the balance of pressure and heat moving this round and it will go down through your cylinder, often through a heat dump radiator which might be a towel rail, which means every time you get the stove hot you're getting the water hot and your towel rail hot and uh, then that runs down uh, back down to the stove, gets heated up again and goes round in this loop. Uh, and that doesn't mean you get free heat, because if this stove is a big, powerful beast, which it is, sort of 15 kilowatt stove, you might be losing half of that or three quarters of that or all of that when the system's cold. Um, all of that heat's going around that water. And then as the water gets up to temperature, you might get more heat to the room. Uh, but the whole idea is that this stove could be put into a smaller room but run the entire house uh, and certainly your well certainly your hot water another slightly more complicated system might be that you again have this same open vented gravity fed system uh, that runs around in this convection loop and then you use the other two tap-ins which are set on perhaps a thermostat with a pump that then runs around your radiators uh, and of course every system is specific to you know uh, to, to you so it may be that you've got lots of radiators or it may be you've got a big cylinder um, you have to get you know these things carefully worked out so it's always worth having the advice of a local plumber and stove installer and make sure that you can get these things worked out um, but effectively this means that you can go much closer to off-grid. You can have all your heating, all of your um, uh, hot water run from, you know, if you're lucky enough to have a bit of land with few trees and few logs that you can chop down, you could run your whole, whole house effectively without any connection to other, you know, government controlled or, or you know, big corporate, you know, oil companies controlling how much it costs to run your life. This thing could run your house uh, potentially for free if you had, um, if you were lucky enough to have some free trees or, you know, I'm willing to do some work and chop some trees down. How many radiators roughly are we talking? Well, 
of course, every boiler stove is specific. Um, so you have to get the right one or, or as close to. But this particular one is designed to run a cylinder and probably anywhere between sort of uh, six to 15 radiators. Now, when you're counting radiators, it's important to know that uh, a double radiator, so you know when you see those stacked radiators against one another, that's called a double, uh, and that's two radiators. Um, equally, a little towel rail might be, you might consider one radiator, or you might consider that half a radiator. Um, and so, you know, th there's no, you don't want to get too specific or too accurate with these things you might be thinking okay this stove runs anywhere between sort of five and 15 radiators okay well if i've got eight that sort of work if i've got six that sort of work if i've got 12 it's you know it's going to be running a little bit harder um but maybe it sort of works it's it is quite sort of you know rough um but uh but yeah, this particular one is, is designed to suit quite a wide range of the most likely sizes that you'll encounter. Um, and uh, the reason I've made a specific video about it is in part because boiler stoves are a rarity and I just thought it might be interesting to talk about it. Um, but also, uh, since these new regulations have come in, these have become incredibly difficult to get to pass modern regs now this boiler stove runs at i think it's something like 0.06 percent in emissions like co emissions so it, they've done something which is incredible they've managed to get something as big and powerful and as sort of utilitarian focused as this to tick all these modern government boxes which is really impressive and i wanted to draw attention to that because you know, I feared that these could be lost from the industry, um, but it appears that they won't be, which is fantastic. Uh, obviously, boiler stoves are a tremendously huge subject, uh, and if you want further advice on it, drop in the comments and I will answer, you know, queries that I think perhaps interesting and I can add something to. But obviously, the first start is go in, see your local park ray dealer in this case but just just your local stove shop because they may have others that comply or you know that may be appropriate to you and yeah get, you know dip your toe into this as an idea perhaps because if you need some central heating answers this you know genuinely from an environmental point of view from a you point of view if you're if you're the sort of person that doesn't mind chopping a few logs this is a wonderful thing that I have grown up with my entire life. I've been loading boiler stoves and running central heating from boiler stoves literally since I was four years old. Uh, it's, it's home to me. <laughs> Hope that was really helpful. And obviously, you know, subscribe, drop a like, drop a comment, ask a question. I'm, I'm keen to keep this area of the industry alive because transforms lives for so many people so many people live in remote places they can't get oil gas isn't in there um and you know what do you want these people to do just shiver and freeze no we we want them to use a a really clean and efficient wood burning boiler that will potentially change their lives and maybe yours thanks for watching